In today's daily news, we turn the spotlight on cruising and all the rave is focused on the Norwegian Prima. Yep, she has arrived. She sailed out of New York for a fun-filled educational voyage of discovery, otherwise called an inaugural sailing for agents, the press, financiers, and all interested parties. She will make her way into Halifax and the excitement is high. Did I tell you? Initially, the Prima did an inaugural sailing in Iceland and boy, the vibe on board, the energy was off the chain. So we're talking Norwegian today. We're talking cruises today. You will be pleasantly surprised to see all that's going on in the world of cruising. As I'm doing this video, I'm getting live and breaking news from the Prima. And boy, I don't even know where to start. Should I be talking about the shipyard Thinker Tour in Italy that has boasted the ability to make some of the most stunning ships in the world? All right, let's talk about Fincatori, why not? There's just so much happening and there's just so much to share. But Fincatori's Pierberto spoke about a ship's technological benchmark being focused on energy saving and emission reduction and of course high performance. Now they make ships, so that's their focus. And in his declaration of pride, he speaks of the delivery of Finca Touri's newest creation for Norwegian Holdings Limited, the Prima. Prima, which really means first, is the first in its class. And we're going to be talking quite a bit about this ship over the next few weeks or maybe even months because it is the first of six next generation vessels for the Norwegian cruise line brand. Now my colleague who is on board, Christine Kenny, she speaks of an amazing ship, three-story racetrack on go-karts, virtual reality room and mini golf. This is just one of the things that caught her attention as she is a part of the select team of agents from my agency who had the distinct pleasure of getting an invite to this exclusive event and boy am I following her journey step by step. Now I know we have been enthralled by the Encore, the Bliss, all of the Breakaway Plus class ships with Norwegian. We've been loving Norwegian, loving selling and sailing this brand. But the Prima takes it up several notches. So I look forward to your questions, your comments and your desire to have that Prima experience as we go into a new generation of sailing with Norwegian cruise lines. Now, Royal Caribbean has been on a recruiting campaign next to none. And we just want to share with those of us who might be interested in joining this brand that there is time, there is capacity, there is ability with the members of this brand's group. So I would just want to share with you the brands that are currently hiring. You want to take at a look at Royal Caribbean International, Celebrity Cruise Lines, Silver Seas, Tui Cruises, and Hapalog, Hapaloid Cruises. And the careers that are available are both Shoreside and shipboard so go right ahead and i have an email for you just go ahead and prior to going to the email no we don't have an email we have a website careers.royalcaribbeangroup.com 
www.rcg.com or www.rcgcareers.com Now we have a closing tip as it relates to hiring. The American Queen Voyages is also recruiting guys. So if you want to learn a little bit more, this is a brand based in the US. It's a river company. So it sails on the rivers of North America in the US and in Canada. And so this is another possibility for jobs. The recruiting efforts are happening now in 34 states where the ships sail and they ha have uh, plans to double their fleet. In the past five years, they have doubled and they have uh, three more brands. New ships are also joining the fleet in 2023. So American Cruise Line is recruiting American Queen. And it's a good idea for you to pop over there if you think you have what it takes to sail the rivers of North America. Mm -hmm.